Hi guys, it's our last day in Melbourne and we're currently up at Sky Deck 88 in the New York Sky Tower. So we may actually go up in the glass cube at some point, we'll see how we feel, how brave we're feeling, <laughs> but at the moment. Windows cleaner than our hotel room. Yeah, definitely. industry. Our hotel was out that way somewhere. So that's the Botanic Gardens there. That's the Botanic Gardens. And the Shrine of Remem Remembrance is that older building just down there. Right, so we've decided to do it. We've got a bit of a wait so the buzz is when we're ready to go. I don't know, I'm assuming we're allowed to take photos and stuff while we're in there, but we'll find out. Um, but until then, we're just going to chill here because we've kind of already walked around the sky deck. Um, I don't know, we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully it all goes all well, but we'll find out. And yeah, if I can't film or anything, I'll let you know how it goes when we come back. If we come back. So, they wouldn't let any cameras or phones or anything onto the deck, which we're kind of annoyed by. Um, but anyway. We're now going to head off to the Botanic Gardens and the. Oh, you're taking photo. And um, the War Memorial. I can't remember what it's called now. Um, but we're heading out that way. So the sun's decided to now show itself, so we've got to put in a bit of sunscreen before I get sunburnt again. And I don't know what we're doing after that, because we don't have to be on a bus to the airport until 7 30 tonight. Which is a whole other story, because it wouldn't let us check in online. Well, no. It would let us check myself in online, but on Antonia, and when we talked to the help people um, last night, they ended up just telling us to just check in at the airport, which was our solution anyway. We thought maybe they could check us in, so they weren't any help at all, which has been the theme of my travels. Um, so yeah, so we have to get to the airport a little bit earlier than we intended, because we have to check in at the airport now. Awesome! So yeah, but anyway, we don't have to be at the airport until, uh, don't have to be on a bus to the airport until 7.30 tonight. So we've got seven hours. Um, and yeah, so we'll see, we'll probably just walk around, maybe have a picnic in the park, I don't know what we're doing food-wise. I'm not hungry yet, but Tony is by Santa. Um, and yeah, we'll probably just end up back on a tram, maybe go back to the markets or to like Burke Street Mall or something. Have a look around, see what we find. and. I'll catch you up when something good happens. Alright, we've made it to the Shrine of Remembrance. Um, I'm pretty sure it's free to get in, so we'll have a look. But otherwise, these parks are beautiful. And the sun's still out for the moment. So it's better than what it has been the last two days. So, I don't know. Might run out of luck by the time we walk out of here. Might not. It's Melbourne. Anything can happen, let's be honest. Anyway, so we're going to go in. We're going to have a look around and... Yeah. Alrighty, so we've just gone through trying to remembrance. I could have filmed and stuff, but out of respect, I chose not to. Anyway, we're just seen outside now. Got our wraps and stuff. It's now what quarter past two. Um. So yeah, so I think we may go have a look at the shops after this. See where the day takes us, and um, hopefully try to return our Mikey cards, which is like go cards or. I don't know, oyster cards if you're in London, if you're anywhere else in the world, I have no idea what they're called if you have them. Um, so try to return them, get some money back on them, and catch our bus back. So we're going to enjoy a picnic and I'll talk to you later. Must admit, pretty sad that this doesn't start until tomorrow, because we're not going to be here. And that looks like fun.
Oh, please be careful. You don't know what's in the grass. You're getting there. <laughs> now push up. <laughs> up. Up. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> well, then you would have done a handstand. I don't understand. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Better than me. I could never do that. Um, that's a problem. Right, we're now at the airport. We figured out what the problem was, and Tony is in the first row. So, because she was an emergency exit, they wouldn't let us check in online because you had to get permission and accept the terms and conditions. Anyway, which I've never had to do before, and I've sat in emergency rows before. But the next problem is that the departure screen right now has nothing on it, it is literally blank. So I'm going off what my phone says, which is gate 48, but knowing our luck, we'll go to gate 48 and they'll say that's not our gate to go to, in which case I'm probably going to rebel against Jetstar and chuck a fit because of the amount of problems we've had in the last 24 hours, but I think it'll be fine, so I don't think I have to go off with them. Um, we had a bit of a picnic in another park for dinner which was slowly going down in health because we had grapes, then cheese, then grain waves, then Tim Tams. So, yeah. Um, anyway, that's the end of our trip. I don't think there's anything else to catch you up on from the rest of today. So I think we're just going to leave it here because there's nothing really to talk about after our flight unless, of course, something weird happens on the flight, in which case I'll start filming again. But if not, that is it. We've had a wonderful couple of days in Melbourne uh, and I can't wait to be back again. And, um, yeah, so that's it. I'll talk to you next week. I just turned my phone on. I'll talk to you next week when we go away again. Um, I've got uni this weekend, so next week should be fun. And, um, yeah, I'll catch you up when we do that. Apart from that, I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.